Members of Parliament now want the National Government Constituency Development Fund entrenched in the Constitution. Parliamentarians describe the fund as a critical cornerstone to issuance of bursaries to needy learners and as such are pushing for the expansion of its scope. The MPs want the fund scaled up to 5% of the National Government's budget. Let's get more from our very own Sam Ogina. The entrenchment of the Constituency Development Fund in the Constitution might be the country's first successful amendment to the 2010 Constitution. Members of the National Assembly want the CDF and other funds, including the Senate Oversight Fund, the Affirmative Action Fund, and the Economic Stimulus and Empowerment Fund ring-fenced in the Constitution. MPs defended CDF for transforming the education sector in the country, more so for the underprivileged in society. With or without the CDF, the members of parliament have their salaries. And in fact, without the CDF, the workforce, uh, the task is reduced. But Mr. Speaker, as we speak today, every day, and I'm sure I speak for all the members here, we get no less than 100 phone calls of children who are at home because they cannot get bursaries. So it is not the members who are suffering, it is the... It has elevated students who have not been able to understand they will make to the end through education. The CDF motion, sponsored by Matungulu MP Stephen Mule and his Gishogo counterpart Gishimu Githinji, is credited for monumental development of constituencies. Nevertheless, the fund is only limited to address education and security at the constituency. The Supreme Court declared the fund established in 2013 illegal, but MPs have contested the ruling, saying it did not repeal the National Government CDF Act of 2015. As we speak today, there is no court order, not of the High Court, not of the Court of Appeal, not of the Supreme Court, that stops disbursement of the CDF under the 2015 Act. None. And I want to urge that even as we go, we meander our ways through this amendment, let the CDF be disbursed because it is constitutional as we speak. We must choose as a house to assert ourselves and make this move so that this debate, this, this haggling, this back and forth to the judiciary is put to rest once and for all. I stand here as one person who was educated by bursaries. I know the importance of this. The parliamentarians equally want NGCDF disbursement scaled up from 2.5% to 5% of government's budget and its scope expanded. To add this house to consider including water because the people that are suffering even now are the members of parliament. People are calling the members of parliament even to supply water. I know every member in this house is under pressure from the public and the community and the constituency we, re we represent to make sure that students are in school. It feels so good, Mr. Speaker, when a young man comes and tells me, Madam Kihara, I went to school courtesy of your CDF and I'm working in this place. The MPs have adopted the parliamentary initiative to amend the constitution, where for the bill to sail through, it would require two-thirds majority in both the National Assembly and the Senate before the president can sign it into law.